recycle the grief, as you say. But in instances where, even after a year or two, some people go and they can't find their, their, their graves of their dead. You, I, a year or two, it doesn't happen. It has, it's happening. Maybe you haven't heard. But, um, yes, but we, a year or after two. After this documentary, we have a lot. In fact, Godwin, I'll bring you in at this point. Yeah. This is something that some families have shared with you, right? Mm -hmm. That after a year or two, they, they go they and they go there and they are unable to locate the grave of their loved ones. It could either they be they are, are or they are not. They are, they are unable to find, unable. to locate. Mm -hmm. Yes. And usually, most of them speak about the fact that most of the grasses have overgrown some of the grave tombs and that's mm. the reason why they are not being able to go deep down there because they might be attacked by reptiles, it could be snakes, anything at all. Mm. But then the documentary also revealed how most of them go in there and they see human bones, part of the skeleton, mm. you know, all over the place. And that sort of creates fear in them right. to also want to have the courage to go into that particular place. I, see. I mean, I might be able to go there, but it's not everyone. We've seen wide ranging reactions from people and they couldn't even watch the documentary after Indeed. it was aired. Indeed. Uh, yeah. Can, and, and we saw that reaction from many people. Mm. But how many cemeteries did you visit in this documentary? I visited about Six, six. But, the, but then I ended up highlighting only three. And which, which cemeteries so, were these? Ashanti Regional Capital, the Tafo Cemetery. Okay. It's actually the biggest in the Ashanti region. Right. Then in the capital here, Accra. Okay. The Osu Cemetery and mm -hmm. then the Awudomi Cemetery as well. Awudomi Cemetery, yeah. Osu Cemetery mm -hmm. as well. And these are, these are places where many people can relate with. Yeah. Um, what's happening in, in there? Mm -hmm. in six cemeteries. What informs, in fact, what influences your courage to be visiting Super cemeteries? Help, help me, help, and the viewers understand this. Where, where do you get this from? So I. It's not the first time you've done something like this. Exactly, exactly. If the viewers can remember, the first documentary I actually worked on was an investigative piece on the state of the country's morgues. And Indeed. it highlighted more of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital mortuary, which was actually in a horrible state. You go to their cold rooms, you see how bodies are handled. It wasn't in a good shape. So it was a story I think we should break out there because for decades, a number of people had complained about how bad the place looks. Mm. You go in there, most of the workers too are not being served with the right PPEs to be able to work in a healthy environment. So then I felt that was something that should be highlighted. I see. Then it also brought about this particular idea to check on the cemeteries as well. Mm. Because I used to live somewhere around Awudomi and any time I drive around, the place looks so bushy. It looked as though no one was taking care of the mm. place. So I was like, okay. Let's Mr. Anna, you disagree. But you see, the evidence of what we have seen in the video and what families have shared with us, that's what we, are, we speak to. For us as generally, we don't, we don't conjure anything. We speak to the realities of the yes, situation. So, so what are you disagreeing with? Because I, no. I, see, I see you keep shaking your head in disagreement. Of everything that he's saying. Yes. Why? So, um, you know, it is said that once you are from the womb, you certainly go to the tomb. And that is the final resting point. This cemetery, as we all know, is the major cemetery within the metropolis, and that is Awudome. Mm -hmm. And it has been in existence over years. Now, the key concept is for us to ask, sustainability is the way forward. Mm -hmm. Because this is the metropolis. Land in itself is fixed in nature. It doesn't sure. expand or decrease. And therefore, that is why I told you, once I assumed office this year, I'm now trying to ensure that we have pragmatic programs to ensure the safety and peaceful nature of the cemetery. One of the, One of the things. things that we are trying to do, I want to quickly highlight mm -hmm. on yeah. some of the yes, key that, points. That, that. So it has to do with, you know, when we watch critically, the walls, most parts are broken. Mm -hmm. And we've written to management. And management, Man which management is this? So, um, AMA, the top, and is on the drawing board. Very soon, it will be fixed. We are also, I also if you say, very soon. Yes, How very soon? soon. Very soon. How soon? 
So I, I don't want to be, and I, I don't want to say it's in the you pipeline, know, the, but it's going to be done. So this is the work plan you're talking about. That's what is on the screen. Yes, right? so if I, I should speak with... It's, it's not so it's, very visible, though, but um, yes, I see but we can behind the walls. So you can see advert which you want to play. Sanitation is key. Then beautification. Beautification in terms of liaising with parks and gardens so that we can flower, I mean, to enhance beauty around the cemetery. Then we have painting of the walls. We have, you know construction of sanitation facilities and um, we also no, have you see these are very basic things and in fact you must be up yes commended for even thinking about this in the first place that's number one but to the extent that the Awodome cemetery how old is it Awodome is time alone Osu is as old as I can remember yes certainly and all these years basic things like toilet and urinal facilities and the you haven't thought about this? Like, why? 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 Yes, that is what, what I'm speaking to now. That currently, I'm the head. And have you assumed that role? Um, that's the change position I'm bringing on board now. But has so it been difficult very, for you to get I all those things this. done? Oh, we hope to get it done. I've been, I'm, it's about my proactiveness, which mm -hmm. I'm trying to work at it now. But uh, you see, w before we we need to understand the problem, to even appreciate to identify the problem solution yes. that you are bringing. If we don't understand, identify, define, and propose alternatives so, and select the solution. best alternative to deal with the problem, you may be on this path of hope, and hope has never been the basis for any policy formulation. You you will be hoping, and it would never come to fruition. It will come to fruition. So I mean, <clears throat> it's fine. If it comes to fruition, we all it must we come all, to fruition. We, we all do we, for the we, general we, 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 good we, we, we of the populace. We'll be fine. But my concern is that yes, to the extent that up until now, the problem is still there. Even if you assume office in January, we are in March. What has been done about these issues? Which issue particularly? Sanitation. So sanitation is something that is routine. And when you visit the cemetery now, there is a, 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 an improvement in terms of the sanitation level. It is very clean. You could see you the pristine nature. What do you mean? Improvement in the sense that, you know, we talked about overgrowth of weeds. Mm -hmm. Currently, we're clearing the place and you could see visibly graves. You can quickly identify so these you, graves. So you, you, you clear the weed yes. the, 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 when they overgrow? So, yes. But and in there, the liberals are saying they have not been paid. The 400 cities that you pay these liberals that you are relying on to help you achieve the objective of weeding, they have not been paid for months. What are you doing about that? Yes, the issue of payment, um, I would like us to, um, you know, because it's still in the pipeline, it's not about uh, they uh, being paid, not they being paid. They have been paid, but sometimes it's the timeliness. It's the timeliness. Nobody can say that he's not being paid. No, but the people who say it, though, it's not me. Some, yes, he said I, I, it. I think you heard it. But maybe sometimes you expect your pay to come right on a certain date at the end of the month. But, but it doesn't I mean, hit. your pay shouldn't delay so for months. So this, this is the thing. We have people who are on... Uh, Zara, government of Ghana they have not been paid for months. So, so let months. me explain. So we have what two mean? categories of workers. Mm. Those who are on GOG payroll, they have no problem. Okay. They are paid on timely basis. Okay. Nobody can say or point or accusing fingers at. I see. So then those on IGF, they are also paid. Just that sometimes at the end of the month when you expect, maybe it's a week or something, everybody is paid. Everybody earns something. Everybody gets something. That's 400 cities. Well, that one, I cannot... No, that's 400 cities. You know how not, much you pay them. Yes, so but... It's you big. should do something about it. Yes. So, so. in terms of funding, the issue, a, a lot of people are talking about... So who determines the, the, the salaries of the cemetery workers? Because we've got messages in that regard. So the issue of salary... Uh, basically, you know, government has its own 
Yeah, these are, we have categories of workers, mm. you know, right from management to operational to the So this one says, level. in Samampong at Medina, you know that in Samampong Cemetery, Medina, said they charge 4,000 CDs to the assembly for burial space. Where does the money go to? So it goes to the assembly. It goes to the assembly. Another cemetery but, at Ugbojo charges 6,000 CDs for cemetery space. 6,000. This is public cemetery. Yes. And then Nanaya also says, I paid 9,000 CDs two weeks ago. What's the standard so, price? Um, basically, um, um, for AMA, it is not like that. And I would like to speak on the case of AMA and um, maybe a little bit on Osu. AMA, it's standardized. So basically, for you to acquire a grave space, it's only 1,000 Ghana cities. And uh, it is. You, you are saying 1,000 cities? 1,000, yes. For a cemetery? For a space. A space. Yes. Which cemeteries are these? This is a Wudome cemetery. Oh, my brother. Why are you doing this? <laughs> that is the reality. And no, that not, is the not position. The reality. You, that you is know. what is within ne, our ne, fee ne, fixing. Uh, it's 1,000. That is what is within And I want to bring it to the public um, notice. That it is, that's why it's good to have me on board for people the, to be aware. So, and it's part of ed so educating. They, so, which office should they come to come and pay the so thousand? So, the thousand is paid at the Metro Public Health Department and of they the pay AMA. The thousand cities. Yes. And they'll get the space. Yes. Then, when you are to done bury. with that, uh -huh. you now enter into the sextons or sexons office mm -hmm. where you'll be allocated the space. Now, the cost of construction is 500 for you to have a vault construction. Mm -hmm. So that's 1,005? Yes, sir. So when, uh, by the time that, you're done with everything, how much are you looking at spending? So, so the construction is 500, and it's standardized. OK. It's standardized. So, you, so don't you be worried. When that... other cemeteries are charging, you hear people. Sometimes people also like to have okay. fanfare around their grave. They t come and they tell you, I want my grave tiled. I want to, you know, mm -hmm. put in towels. I want okay. special features and addition. Uh, and that may also inflate the air. But fundamentally, that is what I've, I want the public to know. That for AMA, it is 1,000 and look, nothing I, more, I, nothing I, less. I, 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 I think that you should You seem you a little bit also, surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm contesting this position because the realities are different from what you're speaking to. What families, I'm coming, what families face and go through is different from what you are painting now. The experiences and the realities of people paying 7,000, 8,000, and 9,000 to secure, in some cases 10,000, to secure space in public cemeteries is a reality people face. So if you are the head, it's not just Awudomi, with all due respect. You are the head of the cemetery management in cemeteries in the metropolis, not just Awudomi. So I would want you, so, respectfully, because we're rounding up, to, if you say it is 1,000 standard, make sure that that is done, because it is not what is on the ground. Maybe you don't know. So I'll grant you that. Okay. So, right? So, no, no, let me, I want to correct an, um, a little um, impression. So yeah. decentralization is now the um, policy going forward. Um, government has carved out various districts. So my responsibility actually rests within the metropolis and it has to do with AME. How many cemeteries so if are I talk about area? AME, I'm not talking about areas like Ashidu, Keteke, I'm talking about okay. Okankwe South, I'm talking about Ablikuma South. Anyway. So that forms the enclave within okay. the AME. Uh, Minito, but Godwin, so you, you've got the, the yeah. Ghana Health Service yes. and, and the, the Ministry of Health, and the Ministry of Health to mm -hmm. react to this. What exactly. did they say? So, Dr. Patrick Kuma, uh, Dr. Patrick Kuma Ajiman, Abwaji, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Kuma Abwaji, um, he made mention about the fact that authorities will need to be proactive to make sure that they do what they are supposed to do to avoid such things from happening. He made mention that it is unhealthy for you to walk around and be seeing human right. remains, you know, resurfacing Indeed. on the grounds. And Tina, the Deputy Minister of, of Health, also made mention that it's not right. It's not right for such a thing to be done. Indeed.
Anyway, so, so we're, we're so. going to be on your heels to make sure that the Ghanaian people are served well. So, Mr. Joseph Annan, thank you so much. Head of Cemetery Management it's Control Unit, <laughs> Metro Public Health Department. We have our Citizens of the Week, as we do at, at the end of every week on Fridays on Ghana tonight. So these are the Citizens of the Week we're celebrating. And they are colleagues. Godwin Asediba, right here. Congratulations to you. Thank you, Alfred. Thank and you. then also, <laughs> Komla Kluche for the outstanding coverage of the Nigeria elections as well. Congratulations, oh, wow. Komla. So, gentlemen, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So tomorrow, you come to the okay. come to the Tetequashi Interchange mm -hmm. for the Gobe Festival. There's a full package of Gobe for you for <laughs> as your prize. Um, yes, Mr. Alan invited Mr. as well. Mr. Alan, you're invited mm -hmm. to the Gobe Festival. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. On behalf of the rest of the team, I appreciate your time on Ghana tonight. This is a conversation that's not going to end here. We will definitely continue it in the coming days. Have a great weekend. I am Alfred Okonsi. Have a good night.